Now, mm -hmm. now let's talk about the, um, this Lagos Ibadan Expressway again. I beg your pardon? Let's talk about the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, um, probably the, uh, the busiest highway in our country. Uh, people are going through extreme pain coming to Lagos. Uh, no, getting no. out of Lagos, getting out of Lagos is not uh, that problematic. But as soon as you are approaching Lagos, it, it, people spend hours and mm. hours in mm. traffic. Mm. Some even wake up as early as 3.30 a.m. just so they can beat the traffic. In spite of that, they still get to work as late as 9 a.m. Can you give our people, because I know that this pain has to be endured, can you give our people a definitive time when this, um, uh, this project will be uh, put to bed and when this pain will end? And then where does the project itself terminate, coming into Lagos? Where, where does it uh, terminate? Is it in front of this 7-Up? Where exactly does mm, it terminate? Because I... Well, the origin of the project, the what we call Chene 00, is uh, just around 7-Up, around the toll gate there, thereabouts. The precise locations are matters of uh, survey and mapping, but it's, it's, it's indicatively around there. My uh, response is that we plan, our plan was to have ended that place before Christmas. And Touchwood, I think we still can do so. Uh, subject to resources, subject to unforeseen developments, because in our, in our business, there's so many things. You, you just plan for the worst and hope for the best. We've made the worst, the plans for the possible worst. We continue to hope for the best. Now, let me also explain. What we're working on is the last six kilometers of that side of the project, the Shagamu to Lagos side. We left it for the last because we know and we knew it was going to be the most difficult. That's the most built up area. That's the most impacted. Uh, that's where a lot of interchanges, people exiting and entering, a lot of residences and, and stuff businesses. So we felt that if we had done the, the path heading towards Shagamu, it might be understandable to then leave this place for the last and quickly deal with it. So I do hope that uh, we would have resolved it before the end of the year. That's our plan. And that's what we will keep on uh, trying to do. Uh, on the Badno side, we are also hoping that uh, we will gather more peace there. Uh, at one time, the contractor was working day and night there, but we are being slowed down by the drains being constructed across the road by the Ugu Oyo state government. They are constructing a stormwater drainage, which is necessary, but their contractors seem to have stopped. So that is slowing down our work in terms of even the our own construction vehicles moving construction materials, also have to pass through that grid law to deliver materials to site. So it's, it's not easy uh, constructing through a road that people have to use. It's just very, very challenging. 